Guyana has a very small capital market currently. From 2015 to now, we have seen the capital market in Guyana uh, increase it. However, we don't have the current uh, institutional framework to have the legislation to expand on the current uh, trading that takes place in the country. And with trading, I'm talking about the Guyana Stock Exchange here. Now, we need to be able to expand the stock exchange. Um, we know that it's a small stock exchange. There is only a certain amount of capital that is raised on that stock exchange every given week, which is it is only traded once per week. And there are just a small number of companies. There are a lot of investors out there who want to come into Guyana. And people are looking to raise capital on all, all the major stock exchanges all over the world, whether it be the Toronto Stock Exchange or the London Stock Exchange or the New York Stock Exchange in particular. And people are looking to raise money to develop uh, facilities in Guyana, primarily facilities that are generated towards infrastructure development and infrastructure towards the oil and gas business or the energy sector uh, in, in, in total. For the layman, can you explain what exactly the stock exchange does and how often, for a country that is, and how often do you recommend we start trading on the stock exchange in Guyana? Well, in simple terms, the stock exchange is where companies go to to value themselves uh, in the initial stage, and then they offer shares uh, where people buy in, and that share is turned turn into the capital for the com company when they're looking for expanding. Uh, so right now we have companies like, I'm not, right now we have companies like, list a few of them, like DDL, Banks, DIH, and so in Guyana. What are those companies? Right, those companies are traded on the stock exchange. Uh, you have Demar Tobacco Company, which is also one of the biggest company on the, on the list. And then you have another uh, a list of uh, several other smaller companies, but they trade a uh, small amount of shares, small amount of, so they're looking to raise capital for smaller projects, not mega projects or let's say uh, 1 billion US dollar. They're not looking for that right now. They're looking to raise towards their medium term investment and expanding. Banks, the IH and BNL are two of the oldest companies in Guyana, they have been trading on, on the stock exchange for, for quite a while. Um, so what happens? It, in simple terms, uh, when they open trading, if someone is interested in buying uh, a, a piece of the company, because basically when you buy the share, it's share capital, so you're buying a piece of the company, um, you indicate that you would like to have X amount of shares. And when, and just like any other commodity, when the demand is high, the share value goes up. So you have to pay a higher price for that share. The higher price, of course, is passed on to the company for more capital. And then you have that share with certain conditions and then dividends are paid to you when the company makes profit. So, but in the, in the meantime, you own that, that share in that you own uh, a piece of the company, uh, no matter how small it is. Uh, so that's why you become a shareholder to a company. So for us to start trading more regularly, right now, can you explain to me where we are in terms of being in a mixed economy and being able to trade more often, like two, three times a week, I'm, I'm not sure you're the expert, and uh, how we can you know, gradually move towards capitalist economy? Well, what we have in Guyana is, is, a, is a mixed economy because we still have a very large amount of uh, government uh, undertaking, you know, government procurement and government business is still large. But we have seen since 2015 that that ratio between government and private sector is changing because the private sector, primarily driven by what by what we have in the oil and gas business, is increasing. And so we're now seeing that Guyana is moving more towards, towards uh, a more capital, uh, more capital market, market system. And this might just be for one sector, by the way, it might not be for the entire economy, but. This is how we have to start looking at the country, not in terms of labeling it a capitalist system or a mixed economy. You know, traditionally, for, for many, many years, we have been a mixed type of uh, market economy. Now, with greater financial influence and greater investments in trying to have public private uh, business development and more business um, operation from the private sector side, we are seeing the development of a more market-driven type economy for Guyana, which of course will be more of a capitalist type of operation. And this, as I said, might be particularly for certain sectors, but we have seen an expanding role of the uh, financial markets in Guyana, primarily by the volume of monies that are coming in. But at the same time, you know, as, a, as an economy that is moving towards more uh, market open and market oriented, um, 
we need to be careful of, of, of certain things. We need to be careful of the level of interest rates that is uh, being offered in the country. We need to be careful of the type of exchange rate uh, regimen that might be in place because at the same time, we don't want to be in a situation where uh, the exchange rate goes out of control because of the demand of certain currency. As you know, Guyana is a type of economy that we trade in the US dollar. Um, we, do not, we don't trade uh, the majority of our products in our local currency. So there is a demand for that as well. So there are conditions in which we will have to be very careful to make sure that things don't get out of hand. And, uh, you know, I'm just talking about the, uh, the exchange rate, you know, I, I am, I'm thinking about the Dutch di disease. Um, so, you know, these are things in which we, uh, we definitely want to have a grasp on. We want to be able to have... Uh, uh, monetary uh, policies in place that can allow for whilst we're having a more market type oriented system, we are also allowing for uh, the market to be able to correct itself, uh, not, not with a uh, government hand in the process, but also by putting the right policies in place so that uh, things are stabilized and, and, and not moved out of control.